Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we'll understand how to install BiblioShiny app for bibliometrics analysis on your system. Bibliometrics is an open source tool for executing a comprehensive science mapping analysis of the scientific literature. It was programmed in R language to be flexible and facilitate integration with other statistical and graphical packages. BiblioShiny allows no coders to use bibliometrics. It is developed in the Shiny environment. Just install and load bibliometrics, activate its library and type BiblioShiny and you are ready to go. BiblioShiny app can support the databases such as Web of Science, Scopus, Dimensions, Lens.org, PubMed, CoachRun, OpenLX. It can read the file formats such as plain text, BIP tags, CSV, CIW, zip files, and R data. BiblioShiny combines the functionality of bibliometrics package with the ease of use of web apps using the Shiny package environment. Now, how we can use this? So, for this, first of all, we will install R and R Studio. So, how we can do this? In Google, write POSIT R, download R Studio. Scroll. You will get RStudio desktop. Click on download RStudio. Again, you will get two options. Install R, install RStudio. So download and install R. So you will get its exe file, run it. And then download RStudio desktop. You will also get its exe file, run it. After running this, you will get this type of screen. So this is a script window, this is console, environment, and uh, the plots or the packages window. Now you will have to install the package bibliometrics. It can be done in two ways. Write the command install.packages bibliometrics, this is one method, and press run. And the second one is go in tools, install packages, make sure that your internet connection is on. Now write bibliometrics click here and press install after the installation is over run this uh, write this command library bibliometrics run and then run biblioshiny the command line is biblioshiny round brackets run Just wait for a moment. So this is the Shiny app. Let me make this 100%. Click on the data. Import or load. I request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video on how to extract the data from Web of Science or Scopus. Now, please choose what to do. So import the raw file, activate the Scopus, browse, and I'll connect this Scopus data. Open and start. So it gives me the message. Let me decrease this so that we can see properly. Right. So it gives me the message that this is a DOI, author's ID. Now you can see here, we are having overview, sources, authors, documents, uh, conceptual structure, intellectual structure, and social structure. Now what all these things are, let's understand. So sources, authors, documents, and clustering, these are the four levels of analysis. Conceptual structure, intellectual structure, and social structure, these are three structures of knowledge. We will use all this, uh, we will use all this type of analysis in my upcoming videos. So kindly refer the next video. So this was all about how to install BiblioShiny app on your system for running bibliometric analysis. For more videos on bibliometric analysis, please subscribe to my channel. 
You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded many videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social medias, link given in the description box.